Hello to my fantastic art people. We are working on step 10 for this lesson to color the horse shoes here. So in our last video, we, we drew our horseshoes. So we have already colored our Noma chalk pastels, so you know how to use chalk pastels. And I also want to remind you, if you do not speak English, no hablar inglés, you can have this, okay? I will give this to you. Just let me know if you need it. So it has the, an English, Spanish, and a picture of all these different words that we use, okay? So gnomes is nomos, horseshoes, her, heradora, draw, dibujar, chalk pastel, pastel, de tiza, hat, sombrero, numbers, numeros, etc. And then paper is pop up. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. So if I have not passed out your horseshoes, I'm going to pause the video and pass these out. And then... If I have not put a chalk pastel box at every table, I'll pause the video and get those passed out. All right, one person from the table needs to open up the chalk pastel box. We're not fighting over who gets to open it up. So one person is gonna take it from the middle of the table, open it up, and put it back in the middle of the table. That's where it needs to live, okay? And go ahead and we're gonna start with our bottom horseshoe. And think about what color you want your horseshoe to be. We're thinking. We have it figured out. You don't have to do yellow. I'm going to do yellow to make mine gold. Get your chalk pastel. And we're going to color from left to right. That way when we chalk color here, we're not rubbing it. If we colored on this side and then went over here, well, look, then our hand would be rubbing this. We don't want that. If you're left-handed, you'll start on the right and go over to the left. All right, so let's go ahead and gently start coloring filling in our horseshoe if you want to go around your details because you guys know that I'm going to give you a colored pencil to do your details just like we did with the gnome so if you want to leave it blank in your detail spots you can do that and you guys know from our chalk pasteling of the gnomes that we only want a little bit of chalk dust. We're not blending yet. We all blend together. We're not blending yet. We know that our hands should look like this because this is our second time using chalk pastels this year. So all of the chalk pastel rolls should be nice and fresh in your brain. We're just being very gentle. We don't, we're not pushing down hard. Your color should be very light. It should not be super bright. Okay, good. We should all have our first horseshoe colored. So take this chalk pastel, put it back in your box. And then you're gonna keep your hand lifted up off of your paper. Take your pointer finger. We're not wiping with our hand, we know that and go ahead and blend it in, filling up all of those white spaces. I'll zoom it in so you can see the difference. So it should look like this up here, and now we're making it look more soft and blended. And we're using some of that chalk dust. That's why I don't want you to get rid of the chalk dust until the very end, because we're actually gonna push some of that chalk dust in to the paper while we're blending. It's okay if you blend a little bit on your details. You're gonna be able to color over it with colored pencil just like last time with our gnome. Okay, good. All right, now let's do our second horseshoe. All right, so you can pick out a different color or you can use the same color. And now we are going to gently color the second horseshoe. And I'm gonna turn on some music for us to listen to while we color our second horseshoe. And if you finish before me, that's fine. You can just watch the video while we finish. Don't work ahead though.
All right, you can put your chalk pastel away and go ahead and blend your second horseshoe. Okay, now we are actually going to lift very gently off of the table your horseshoes like this. And we want to keep it flat so the pastel dust doesn't get on the table. And then you're going to rotate your art like this. So that way you can reach your last two horseshoes without reaching over your yellow. So now we're gonna work on our third horseshoe. So one, two, three. So right now it's the one that's empty on top because you turned your paper and rotated it this way. So pick out your color for your next horseshoe and let's color in our third horseshoe. Okay, you can put your chalk pastel away for your third one and blend in your third one. And now you can color your last horseshoe. Okay, you can now blend your last horseshoe. All right, great job. Okay, that's 10 minutes, so that's gonna be it for this video. If we have time today, we are gonna do a special thing with the chalk pastels um, in the, our next video. If we don't have enough time to do that, we are gonna go ahead and clean up. So, if we have extra time, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video and go to the next video right now. If we don't have time to do this special chalk pastel thing today, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys cleanup instructions. So just like last time, I will call a table that is all cleaned up, and I will tell that table to go take their artwork to remember the trash can, how we lift up our art and the chalk pastel dust comes out from the paper onto the trash can, just like we did with our gnomes. So I'll call a table to 
throw away chalk dust, put their artwork back at their table, go wash their hands, and come back in to get an early finisher worksheet, sit down and work. And remember in the bathroom, there's only two sinks in the boys' bathroom and two sinks in the girls' bathroom. So if there's already a person at each sink, you don't get to go in. You only get to go in once one of the sink people goes to dry their hands, and then you get to come in. Okay, so there should only be like two people in each bathroom at a time, except for maybe also another person drying their hands. So two to three people at a time, maybe four. If there's two people drying their hands and two people at the sinks, but no more than that. Then you come back in, get your worksheet, go to your seat, work on your work, early finish your worksheet. Okay, good job today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.